Context Capture Tutorial on New Alternate Engine Aero Triangulation Mode. The benefits of the new Aero Triangulation Mode is that it's a more robust AT for repetitive, complex, or interior data sets. It also works very well for orbits around a single point or data sets that have large amounts of overlap. In order to do this, we will create a block and add the relevant photos. We will then submit the aero triangulation and select the alternate engine preset mode in the AT settings dialog. So if we open up context capture, we can create a new block and add our photos to it. We can then submit our aero triangulation. And as we go through our settings, when we get to the settings portion of the dialog, we will select the alternate engine. It's worth noting that while it's called the alternate engine, it still runs off of the same engine module as before. So there are no differences in terms of submitting it besides just selecting the preset. We can then quickly look at our results. First, we'll take a look at the results from the old engine. As we can see, as our splats load, there is a lot of overlap and duplicated geometry. If we look at our alternative engine, we can see a much better AT with everything correctly in place. So if we take a look at the reconstructions generated from the ATs we just looked at, we can see the left side here is our alternate engine and the right is the old engine. Uh, the right ends up with a bit of duplicated geometry and ghosting versus when we look at our new alternate engine mode, we get a much cleaner reconstruction where everything is correctly located. Um, the textures look a lot nicer and you know we get a much better result. And that is how you use the new alternate engine aero triangulation mode in context capture.